Coco's was originally called Camden Palace, and I have a history with Camden Palace. I played, uh, I did my first concert in London there 20, 23 years ago. Oh my God, that is so frightening. Uh, yeah, I did a gig there 23 years ago, um, and uh, I think I was scared, um, scared of England, scared of, I don't know, being in a foreign place. When I first came to England, it was all about Boy George and World's End. And I remember I came to Camden Palace um, to see a concert be before I performed there, and uh, Boy George was there. And he was completely dressed up in the whole uh, Malcolm McLaren thing. Um, and I was complete, I, I was so intimidated by him. The idea that people took fashion that seriously and took it that far and were so extreme. Um, it seemed like everything here was more extreme. There was more of a music scene. There was more of street culture. There was more, I don't know. I guess it was exotic to me. My band consists of Stuart Price, Steve Sedell, Nick on drums, who's been with me since the Drown World Tour. He's amazing. Actually, before that, he played on my music album. Uh, Monty Pittman is my guitar player and he's been my guitar teacher since my son was born. That's when I started playing guitar again. And finally Marcus Brown on, on keyboard. And he's also been with me since the Drum World Tour and they're all amazing musicians. Fun, easygoing. Um, the dancers I think I have on this promo tour are my favorite dancers that I've ever worked with. Well, see, what happened is when I did the Hung Up video, I went looking for new dancers and I brought in um, Cloud and Miran and Aries, who were on my last tour. And then when we went to Lisbon, um, we sort of chopped and changed things around a bit. But I've got a, um, a new group of dancers, Leroy Barnes, otherwise known as Hypnosis. Um, and Miss Prissy, I found out about them through David LaChapelle. They were in, in the documentary Rise. They're amazing dancers. And then Stephen Norman, my... Um, to uh, French Algerians who are amazing. Um, they are from Gay Perry. He is like this amazing combination of. He's like a br black Fred Astaire. He's like he's like Sammy Davis Jr., young Richard Pryor, Chris Rock's little brother, and I don't know what else. But he is a badass, and I can't believe he's 18 years old. I mean, it freaks me out that he's such a baby, and he's just a it's just a ball of talent waiting to explode, and I'm like I could do anything. I had, I mean, I had such a good time when I did uh, the European Music Awards. I felt like I got shot out of a cannon when that ball, that disco ball, went up. Um, it was a blast. It was the first time I ever performed uh, "Hung Up" ever in front of an audience, and the and the live audience at the European Music Awards it was as great as a live audience when you're on tour, and that doesn't happen at award shows. So that was really fun and exciting. It was just fun. You know, I wasn't even aware that we were doing a TV show. That's how much fun it was. And um, there was a real sense of camaraderie backstage. All the artists were supporting it. I mean, I hung out with Chris Martin from Coldplay. I hung out with, with Green Day. Robbie Williams said really nice things about me when he got his award. I gave an award to Bob Geldof. I felt a lot of love and um, not sort of people being jealous of each other like you usually feel in like those kind of shows or everyone's in competition with one another. So that was a really nice feeling. Merwes recommended Stuart to me um, when I was doing the Drowned World Tour. Um, I said I wanted a um, keyboard player who was cool, young, hip, cutting edge. I, I never set out to make a dance record. In the beginning, I was just writing music with Stuart for a musical. And then that musical, the script, came and I, I didn't like it. And hung up. And I Love New York were the songs we'd written for that script. And I, I, you know, I said, okay. Um, Stuart had been taking the uh, dub mixes of Hung Up around to clubs everywhere because as you know he's a DJ as well and um, he was getting such an overwhelming response to, to that song that I decided, you know what, let's make all the songs dance music and kind of that's how it unfurled. I am doing um, Hung Up, of course, uh, Get Together, I Love New York, Let It Will Be and, and I'm doing Everybody and old. Uh, the first song I ever released a, um, as a single in my entire career. So, um, 
combining the old with the new.